Dungeons Adventurers. Thank you for joining us for this week's session. I am your Dungeon Master, Michael DeMauro, and with me is Tim Lanning. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Jennifer Cheek. Hey, everyone. Mika Howard. We're doing it in the order we're sitting ah! on the couch together. <laughs> and Mike Bachman. Greetings, everyone. I am your creep to keep. <laughs> Oh, we gotta kick this guy out. Right. That's, no, I love it. That's, that's this is my spooky. new character, and there's no more. <laughs> How many well, skeletons? What are you, you playing? Like? A necromancer this time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play. I wanted to change our pace. I'm gonna play. Yeah, a and, and since we're greetings adventurers now, um, we're playing all new characters. Mm -hmm. Last week we said we're not changing. That was a lot. We're not swearing right. anymore. I'm yeah. playing a bog witch. I do appreciate that none of you yelled at us. None of you really yelled great. at us. Even you were so, such good little babies. Yeah, and uh, everybody loves you. Mm -hmm. I'm playing a gelatinous cube named um, Harper Two. I'm playing Jizz Lightning McQueen from Cars 2. Yeah. Did you say Jizz Lightning? I swear to God you said, yeah, I'm you playing, said Jizz Lightning I'm McQueen. Playing, yeah. Like, if you imagine, like, say, take Lightning McQueen and what you expect him to look like, uh, now take Jizz Lightning McQueen. Listen. That's who I'm playing. That's why this podcast Just is marked as explicit, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, you really ooh. get to see the airflow over Lightning McQueen's body, except all in Jizz, and it goes through the spoiler. I don't want us to talk about this anymore. Is this fine? Thank you, everyone, who came to D&D &D Live. D -Live. 2019. The Descent. It yes. was great to see all of you and hang out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure our session went well. Yeah. That is happening feel... in our tomorrow, but it was like two weeks ago for you. Uh... And we'll probably release that at some point somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. It'll be fun. When you get yeah. sick or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Scheduling snafu. But... Right. Um, is there any fun stuff we can talk about? There's like... You know, don't quote me on this, but I think tickets are probably available for our live show in Atlanta. Yeah, for DragonCon. Um, probably. Probably. And it's at what? It's August. What theater is the it at? Strand. The Strand. The Strand. Lance and Joy. Uh, During DragonCon. Yes. Yes. What, yes. Do you know the date of it? Yes. Listen, it's the weekend of DragonCon. I think it's the Friday. David is going to say the date right now. <laughs> <laughs> the date is Friday, August the 30th. All right. Thank you, David, for doing that. That was nice of you. Um, I'm glad you don't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Should um, we just get into it? Yeah. I guess. I, guess. I yes. think we're all afraid to because you've been doing a 100 points of damage. In yeah, it's that very scary. A little insane. What? Why? I got a 12. How many of you have? Well, I don't think that's any of your business, Mike. <laughs> it's exactly my business. I got a 6. I got a 3. Oh, fuck. Mike Bachman got a seven. Oh, seven. I thought it was one. What did Tim get? Twelve. Oh, Fuck you. it's Timmy. <laughs> no, don't make me. Timmy, Tim, recast, boy. On the Greetings Adventurers podcast. Oh, my gosh. Don't make me do it. So, last week, we were still within the loyalty button pushing. The loyalty building, booth. <laughs> and we were trying to figure out how to not push the button. But then every time we tried something, something bad would happen. Like, Lonnie tried to run through the wall like she wants to do. And she did bad, but... <laughs> Since she's a, a weird monk, she can't get zapped very good. But what did happen was that Toby got zapped. <laughs> and then Toby... Into, his, like into an inch of his life! Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's no good answer. It's so like, true. It's like everything you did, and something bad happened. Yeah, so this there's was. like... This is a Kobayashi Maru situation. So true. So Toby has a total of 110 <laughs> hit points, and he took 100 total damage. And he got hurt really bad. And then he went on the table... With a skeleton and a fiddle with uh, <laughs> the wires. And we got a little bit farther with with that, but we're still kind of freaking confused. Tell them with the robots. Tell and them then the, the robots. robots came in, <laughs> and they didn't see the skeleton for some reason. Maybe we put a lampshade on him. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. then... I think that's a nice lamp. It's just juicy in the corner of the lampshade. <laughs> yeah. But they couldn't figure out what was wrong with the damn buttons, so they just sighed and left. And now we're, we eat dinner... And then Lonnie is throwing ferret wine at people. Mm -hmm. They try to cut us off. They try to it's, not have booze in the drinks. It's like if you've ever been to Disney World, they have those jumping fountains that go from like oh, yeah. flower yeah. to flower. That's what the ferret wine is just doing. Just from like, yeah, from like, she's just running around squirt, so fast. Squirt. Yeah, that it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we're now on our way to try to break into the lower levels of the bank. In While order. everyone's. Drunk. While well, everyone's drunk or distracted or what have yeah. you. Because, as we all know, we're here to get one of the pyramid pieces. To put on our that's floor. our number one and, uh, thing that's important to us. And tomorrow, at the talent show, we're going to sing a song that's going to force everyone to unionize. Yeah. Yep. 
Not for not force, not but convince them it's the encourage. correct. Strongly yeah. encourage. Yes. yes. But we don't. So we have not seen Keth this evening. No. We haven't seen him for a while. Okay. So well, I feel like we're gonna see him again today. Yeah. <laughs> if I he's gonna be in the vault, isn't he? He is the pyramid. He's what is? Right there. Oh, Nika, shut up! I looked at your notes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. The pyramid, which I, I feel like I should probably describe again, yeah. it is a piece of an artifact. When they all are assembled, they can kill a god. Whoa! So and much you power! Have all of them, all of the pieces, but two. Yeah. Including this one, or with this one, we'll only. Need well, we don't have that. After this one, you only need one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice progress. Progress. We're almost done. Progress. And then we can kill a god, which is our main quest. Well, I don't, I don't think that's which is always our main quest. Let's kill Paylor. Yeah. yeah. Let's kill Paylor. <laughs> he should. Um. <laughs> I think it's so. Yeah, I mean, just to, your goal. I mean, I I'm not gonna give you a goal. You guys get to make your own. Goals. Okay, okay, but but in general, in, given our past, what we have been intending. To yes, do. is you're not actually trying to kill a god. No. Um, the only way to get rid of this thing is to assemble it all together. Because otherwise, if just one piece is left, it will it will regenerate. Michael, back. is this artifact? A god? I don't know. Uh, oh shit! Wow. It's like it's yeah. a lot like a cyst. Just like these part magicians. Like they, I had surgery and they removed it a few times, but they always left a few cells there, and it just uh, just kept on okay. growing back. I don't yeah. want to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so we're here. starting to have a real good time. It's yeah, getting a little rowdy. Right. There's some there's some neckties tied around forehead. Oh no! Has there's... anyone actually done that? I always see it in movies. I've never seen it in person. I think I've done it in my life. People do it because I, feel, I do feel videos. like I've seen Tim with a tire on his head. Okay. I feel like I ate at like a wedding or something. Yeah, he yeah, wow. And, I, I don't and worry. And from your aunt, I did it, so that's real. Okay, hard. that's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> Should have led with that. <laughs> yeah, so we we want to we want to break in and, and we want to solve this quest without probably without much bloodshed. Yes. Yeah. You know, people want to work for the bank, but they're just doing it for a job. You know? Rowan was uh, whispering in Greggy's ear how hot it would be if she was dancing on the table with the other. Uh, Becky and Secky and wooing really loud, and so <laughs> they're doing that. That's happening right yeah, now. I think I did. Sure I did enough. successfully yeah, totally. convince her uh, to be extremely uh, wooing. Roll charisma. Okay, that's with fair. advantage because Greki yeah, and with gave advantage. her. Fine. Greki's like way horny for me. <laughs> Good thing I have advantage because that is a one. <laughs> Eighteen. And you have your glasses, right? <gasps> I do. Bonuses. I do. You're right. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's true, actually. So basically, while I I do have the bond, obviously, um, <laughs> I cast Charm, Charm Person on Greki right now. Okay. Greki is doing as you bid. That's right. <laughs> Greki, I'm like, you gotta, you gotta get him. You gotta get him on dancing. You gotta get a. You gotta, <laughs> she has started a conga line. Yes! Oh, perfect! Uh, conga line! And the people in the middle are trapped. No, it's like yeah, a, a big Ouroboros of yeah. conga line. I okay, always perfect. Last three perfect, circles perfect, too perfect. long. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody tries to uh, break off of the conga line, and they actually just form a rival conga line. <laughs> Two congas. Yes, I just stole that bit from Jim Tank. So yeah, so that's happening. Mm. All right, let's go. This is our time. Let's go. All right, head we on. all are to run towards. <laughs> <laughs> Should we run in a conga line so it looks like we're a third conga line? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So we look four people. <laughs> and a skeleton. And a skeleton five. Frank and Percy and oh, yeah. with us I also? I mean, if you want them. Percy yeah, chicken fingers. It, yeah. So, it, yeah. Does the skeleton have spaghetti hair? Do we ever like yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, spaghetti hair. Spaghetti hair. It's an angel hair. Palm fronds. Okay. Yeah. Lots um, of yeah, she's looking coconut good. Coconut on chest. Mm-hmm. Coconut bra. Yeah. Yep. Ham on hands. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just covered her in ham so she looked like it? You could do that. <laughs> this is skin. Yeah, it's like the Uncanny Valley. Oh, you no. I'm you know, so you already said that there was peeled grapes in her eyes. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm just imagining the face. <laughs> just all the ham pasted on. Oh, we paste the ham on her face. <laughs> and it's really floppy. <laughs> There's like a tomato for her nose or something. Yeah, that's a good one. A carrot. A carrot. <laughs> yeah, she looks good. <laughs> Oh, so that's definitely happening in our that's conga terrifying. line. And she's, we don't do anything. She's ahead. She's yeah. leading us. Yeah. Yeah, she's just wearing a dress and juicy. <laughs> and ju- she's a juicy, the dress has juicy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I support all this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So where are you going? We know we have to get down to the lower level, so is there like 
Um, You're on the beach right now. Okay. The bank is set back. Okay. There's like the bungalows and stuff yeah. in between. You know, well, I think we need to try to find like a um, like a freight entryway. Like, like a servant, a loading dock. Yeah. Yes. Like a, a workers. Yeah. There's got to be a place where like the armored vehicles bring the cash in and whenever they can pick it up from the magical ATMs, right? You've all got to get inside <laughs> of a bag of money. I mean, it is <laughs> it is the same layout, so you know, like there is a loading dock. And a okay. Entrance and stuff like that. Is there any more bubbly juice? Is it gone? Damn. We drink all three of those. Yeah. Good for us. Now we have to drink lemonade. Wow. Oh wow. no. <laughs> okay, yeah, we go to that place. Okay, um, do you want to do a, are you stealthily going to that place? Of course. Yeah. Congo. Yeah, uh, stealthy uh, Congo line. Let me see if I can do anything special. Can you hide me? I did, well, I can. <laughs> 18. Uh, 22. Hmm. Oh, no, 20. It's <laughs> crazy, Michael. Uh, what is, what is your bonus? Uh, my bonus to stealth is a goose egg. Oh, <laughs> no, no! roll the five. Um, I'll roll for Bercy and Frank now. Roll well. You should tell us what you roll for those. Those dice are big, so I can almost see them. Oh, oh, they just turned. Uh, it's a two and a nine. That's, That's not good. Twenty nine. I, wow, I only got a sixteen. Are we bad? At are we? <laughs> I think we might be. Um, so Frank hunches down real low to try to like, to try to like, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. so people can't see him. And uh, Scud trips right over him. Oh my god! Oh, boom! And he falls through a glass table, which is Jeez. for some reason. This seems like a natural one course of events, not a five course of events. But the rest of us are okay, right? Yeah, we're fine. Just Scud. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you're all together. So. Scud goes, so we're all like, shit! And, uh, Jeez, it. Two, two guards, oh, uh, yeah. their eyes light up red, okay. and they approach you, uh, and they say, Why have you left dinner? Okay, you said guards, and you said it like a robot voice, so are these robots? These are robot guards. Fuck. All the employees have been robots except for except for Kat. So I'm assuming um, Charm Person wouldn't work on a robot? You could try it, but they'll definitely know you cast it. No, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste it. I only have two more. Wait a minute, I... <laughs> Return to dinner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We hold have on, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> this man. Uh, can I touch Percy? He's willing. He's on her side. Yeah. It, and feign death on Percy. Feign death. Right. Put him into a, a catalytic state that is indistinguishable from death. Wow. Okay. And I touch him su subtly. You know, they don't see the touch. Yeah. You know? But. They're gonna. I mean, they're gonna have to go like into. Oh no! Someone's dying. Yeah, they're gonna have to go to yeah. the, the medical. Yeah, the yeah. medical Green. mode. I'm hoping that yeah. their eyes change color to maybe like a green or like a healing a, a blue, a soothing yeah. blue, a soothing blue. Mm -hmm. Holy white. That's what I do. Percy falls to the ground, dead as far as you know. <laughs> wow. 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 That's shocking. <laughs> you can tell by the way he said that. Um. They uh they go. One of the robot goes, what has happened? <laughs> oh no, our good friend Percy has died. He was the most loyal of all of us. We need to go to your healers. Uh, okay. He does, we don't. But we gotta, we need yeah, to. Yeah, you should take him to Frank, the healers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you have a choice. Either you can accompany us to the healers or you can return to dinner. Oh yeah, we'll return to dinner. Okay, so we will escort, one of us will escort you. Oh, oh you son of a bitch. You tricked me. <laughs> Does, does he? Does the robot actually go? We will. I mean, one of us. <laughs> um. Well, what could you take out the one robot? Yeah. Yeah, we could. But it's in plain view of the dinner, isn't it? Or yeah, we you guys are. You guys are. I think uh, probably. I would say you're probably in the bungalow area right now. So we're like a little. We're a step away. You're, you're off. So we could get up to some mischief over here some without mischief. people necessarily saying. So us. we could. We could walk away. Mm -hmm. The, the one escort. robot will leave. We take another. Stamp those stealth rolls, <laughs> and then yeah. you know, try it. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. Yeah, and then, then we can always fake kill Frank. Yeah, <laughs> like damn. Or are we just drop life wise. Well, but then the robot would probably transfer. Percy's back. gonna be dead for one hour. Okay. And, yeah, let's go back. Can and... I ask why you killed Percy, the strong person, and <laughs> Frank? But oh, Frank might know. Blue yeah. 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 That was good thinking, bro. <laughs> So you are going back to dinner? 
No, we're, we're going to start walking back to dinner. Just long enough for what's his face to leave. For the one robot, he's going to escort. He's escorting you, yeah. But, so, no. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. One's taking Percy, right? One is taking Percy, one's escorting and so so we're, as soon as he's gone. Okay, okay, he's gone. Okay, then Can now. Can I cast an illusion <laughs> of one of the robots peeking out from the, the uh, behind like a wall to, to to distract the other robot? Like, come here. Oops, and then he, his arm falls off, and he he stands behind the wall again. That's what he, that's what I'm doing. I think Come that's, here, oops. I think that's solid. I think that's a solid um, drift. But I am robot. Oops, oops. <laughs> My arm falls off, and it did not hurt. I do not feel. <laughs> I wish someone covered me in ham. I love my wife. <laughs> she has hair. <laughs> I wonder if we can have. Accio seduce the robot. Like, listen, we are we're like the same. We are made of hard substance with no yeah. soft parts. Could you tell Accio to cover the robot in ham? Anybody can tell Accio anything because she understands all of this. <laughs> what if Accio's so, trying to put all the ham on the robot and they have like a nice moment ham. where they talk about like what it means yeah. to be like a person? Yeah. yeah. So Michael, we do that, Michael. We do a lot of those things. We what say. do you do? We Illusion. Tell I'm a robot. Oops. <laughs> okay, so the idea is that a robot will appeal to this robot's yeah. um, sort of like its protocol sense like, of duty. Yeah. Sense of duty. Like, and, come here. Um, come here. Empathy. And whatnot. <laughs> yeah. The uh, robots are empathy? naturally empathy, empathetic. You don't like necessarily feel empathy for your coworkers, but like you'll still work with them. Right, like he's just like he's okay. So a job let's robot. let's take this step by step. So first, robot. First robot. Hello, arm dropped. Oops. Okay. <laughs> oops. Um, ah, ah, ah. The uh, escorting robot's eyes flash red and says, uh, "Protocol says that you must be decommissioned. <laughs> Report to decommission station." <laughs> well, but if the robot starts, I mean, what's going to be the bigger threat to this robot? The people who's, who's Poor friend just died, or a robot needs to be decommissioned. Make it run away. No. They'd be like, no, no, I won't no, go. no, no. I have seen him. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Thank um, the maker for him. <laughs> all, right, uh, all this ha- it, it appears to not ham. <laughs> appears to not sway uh, your current no. robot. Damn. Okay. Duty. Now the robot screaming about ham. Realizing that he's no longer being chased, he switches to attack mode, and he comes back full speed at the other robot. And now this robot is hand. fake, but you know. <laughs> we want him to turn his back, and that's when we strike. Right? Right? Are you with me, friends? We strike Ooh. with our stealth roll to get away, or we're attacking, like combat attacking. We kill it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. Are there any other guard robots at the... Roll perception. I could turn us all into robots. Oh, Eighteen. Shit. There's no and there's no other robots in the vicinity. All right, okay. I bring yeah. them all back Still to the robot. side. I cast seeming, <gasps> and I turn. And you're doing this while your magic robot is attacking, right? Yeah. So wow. wait, we're all of a sudden. Oh, uh, there's one robot running away, yelling "ham," <laughs> um, and then I cast <laughs> seeming, and the tall ones turn into the red one, the red robots. Toby okay. is a green robot okay. with glasses. Do we just like mar- do we like march in a circle around the robot? What? <laughs> to like taunt him? No, we're not taunting him. We're trying to sneak by because we're robots. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you do this, but like, I know you don't want him. You want your magic, your magic fake robot to attack. But suppose no, I don't want him to. I know, I but suppose okay. he comes at, and then he, what's his face turns his back, and when he turns back around, we're like. We're like, don't worry, we'll take care of this. Oh, Russia. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, we, and then we yeah. have a whole mock because he doesn't go anywhere, he wants to see what happens. Yeah. We have a whole mock it's fight. It takes like fifteen minutes. It's mm-hmm. it's a chore for everyone involved we hate to it. keep on this facade. <laughs> mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. eventually he's satisfied, oh wow, they're really dedicated to the job. Yeah. And I should go find out what happens. We beat the shit out of my fake robot. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't he have to like roll something to be tricked by a disillusion? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's yeah. A robot. Yeah, he does. Now, I assume you can you, you can do a creature can use its action to inspect and make an intelligence investigation check against your DC. It says end, but also somewhere it says charisma. Oh wait, and wouldn't he also like oh. just see you casting? Stuff? No, I'm around the corner. 
We're always around the corner when we do things. We're like hiding. That. We're, we're, we're behind a bunker. We're not sighting these uh, yeah. <laughs> mobs. So yeah, they, he can make or they can make an investigation check, and has to beat a nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Um, but doesn't he see you casting? No, we're around the corner. We're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes, because we went back to the party. He's with you. He's the S party. He did say it's just Oh, I party. thought he was staying still. That's Sorry. why I had the robot attack. No, he's his party. <laughs> and the, <laughs> he did see me make fake robot do ham run, <laughs> and that did not face him. <laughs> I think that is probably the point where oh, that's why he's escorting us. He he's will like, realize okay. that you're casting spells. Got you. I misunderstood that he w- uh, is right with us. Mm. Yeah. So, well, like, he'll always go back to the party. Does he like turn around and go back? If you guys go all the way back to the party, then he will. He will leave you at the oh, party. We should just fucking do that and then stealth again. Yeah. All right. I cast well, I can feign just... death on Frank. <laughs> 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 we. I can still do seeming as long as no one sees us. Oh, I see. So we go back to the party, what? do the seeming, and then we're... Yeah, like, robots. go back to the party, go to the bathroom, okay. turn to robots, I'm into come it. out of the bathroom. So you don't want me to start. kill Frank? No. No, no. Like Frank, we're good. Yeah. Because okay. we need his info. We need his info. So we look like robots now. Sorry, Michael. Mm-hmm. Okay. You all look like robots now. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. So we got five robots? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's eyes are different colors, right? Yeah. Well. Mine are plaid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to rock the boat too much, but whatever you know. So, all right, let's let's robot it up. Let's I'm go a, back. I'm a robot <laughs> specifically designed for boat rocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's all go on a little line like ducklings. Okay, we should walk exactly the way that they escorted the green robot. Yeah. So mm. like the big boys in front, mm. green robots okay. in behind. I love it. No one can see through this facade. No. Okay. Um, we do it. So uh, you all are. You're all watching. Are you going? Where are you going? You're going into the bank. You're going through the front door. You're going through the, the loading bay. Right. Loading bay. bay. Loading bay. Yeah. Can we? What's everybody's uh, robot designation? I'm a big, big red. I'm a big red robot. Well, mine's a big yellow. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to be D D M P dash R. Oh, oh no. like our license. Our yeah. robot the, license. The colors available to you are black, white, blue, green, and red. Yeah, I'm not so much concerned about the color. It was just my yeah, the name designation. You know? like the license plate. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm Dumper. Dumper. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. I'm 1337. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, oh. Yeah. Damn. And I got green eyes. Nice. <laughs> and, and like the Razor logo. I mean, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm Mountain Dew. I look like Mountain Dew. Anyone else want a designation? <laughs> I don't think I can be trusted with this choice. <laughs> I was thinking of all the four letter words I could do. Three, right. three, four, seven, four, five, five. I've already forgotten. Is that your social? Let's <laughs> <laughs> eat ass. <laughs> nice. Mine's P. Someone could be P. like seven, 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 seven. Uh, Someone could be oh. 69, 420, 69. Yeah, wow. There's lots of great numbers out there. That's good. Okay. Um, there are, uh, there is a pair of guards approaching you, and, um, you're still in the bungalow area. Robots. And, uh, and, uh, uh, they are going to, uh, <laughs> oh, no. make a Don't. inspection roll. Is this like whenever you drive a motorcycle and you have to do the hand signal to other motorcycles yeah. so they know you're in the club, like, there's a ramus. Oh, damn, I don't know about that. They're good. It's the password. They hold up their hand for high five. Yes. Passing them. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Uh, they let you pass. <laughs> Whoa, that easy? Wow. And uh, you are uh, approaching the loading dock. <gasps> Perfect. Damn. There's, okay. There's a big open loading bay. I think we should go. I think we should go continue to look like robots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until that doesn't work. Because we want to go in the loading bay, and then we want to take, like, an elevator or something. Or stairs. Something. We want to try to go down. Yeah. Like, do we know much about the, like, depths of these banks, so to speak, like that's yeah, like the secret, talk the secret zone. Um, yeah, so there's you know that there are a few sort of lower, I think like three lower levels. Mm-hmm. That beneath that is the big old vault. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so we just want to we just want to try to keep going lower, 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 moving quickly but not too quickly, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Um, no, not draw attention. That so you're funny. in the loading bay right now, and um, there were two more guards at the entrance of the loading bay. They let you pass, um, but Frank goes. Guys, there's a problem. Huh? What? If this is like the bank back in Paylor's Hope, we're gonna lose these illusions. No magic again. Just, oh, just shit! Oh, we have to go through the the entrance area. 
to get to the lower levels, and for that one little bit, we'll lose our illusions. And there are guards in there. Oh! Can we, like, steal costumes or something? But like, there's no human. Like, why would we be in there? I haven't seen any human people here. Fuck. Humanoid. Shit. Well. Mm. Can we turn invisible? Oh, uh, it'll just, it'll end. Wait, Fuck. wait, okay, wait, what do we need? We need the pyramid, right? We do, do we know where it is? It's in the vault. Do we know how to get to the vault? It's four levels down. So do we just, like, fucking brute force it? Just, like, well, go in there, weapons blazing? <laughs> it's, I, now, it's now the time for demons? <laughs> it might be the time for demons, actually. <laughs> Bonnie can be invisible, and it's not a spell effect. So going into the vault wouldn't disrupt it. Mm-hmm. But I could just go, I would just have to go all by myself and get it and come back. Yeah, let's do that. What is, what is this effect? It's, it's the condition. Mm-hmm. See, the problem is all my stuff... It's like vanish. I had to say still. So if we wanted to like observe things and have me not be seen, that's good. You stay good. still. Lonnie picks you up. You're invisible because you're not moving. Is that how that works? We can all agree. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that won't work. What do you know? Nothing. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, empty body. You can spend four key points to become invisible and gain resistance to all damage but force damage for a minute. Whoa! So that's um, a damn long time. <laughs> I I have many key points. I could do it for. This is your speed force, right? Like you go yeah, this is basically. I could do it. I think for like technically like four times. I can do it four times. Four whole minutes. Yeah, but with the speed. It's true. Yeah. And we can, once we reappear, we or change back to, oh, how do we get in here? Uh, because of distraction. Yeah, the de- <laughs> that's why there's so many demons in here. Uh, it's all, look at all the demons. We just want to be loyal to our company. Yeah, we like devils. They're good. Um, well, Lonnie, that could work, but if something happens, you're going to be all alone, and that's very, very dangerous. It's very scary. I don't like the possibility of it, but I think it's an option, and I would be remiss if I didn't. Split the party. Split the party. Split the party. What do you guys think? I don't want you to split the party. Okay. Then we should yeah. split the party. Well, could yeah, we? I don't want you to. Could, could we wait get? Wait a minute. No. Wait. A oh wait. Minute. Wait. 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 What do you want? Wait. I can see. I can. Why see are you them. smiling? <laughs> I'm not. I think I saw a shirt that's like. DM smiling. But we're D- yeah. He's we're... using reverse oncology on us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's reverse he's osmosis. Gonna, he's sucking the cancer right out of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, I'm sorry. You get your not wish. I really think it's a bad idea to send Lonnie alone. Yeah. Cool, so I don't. Yeah, I don't like the idea. I hate it. What is like? <laughs> what if Lonnie breaks in and yeah. I'm standing in plain sight nearby? Yeah. And if I need to spring into action, there we go. Then I'm there. That makes sense. And if you guys could, because I don't think that my, I don't think that's a spell either. I think it's just a. Ability? Yeah, I think so. Double check. Um, yeah, so starting at 14th level, you can use the hide action as a bonus action on your turn. Basically, yeah, I just like hold really still and no one can see me. I don't feel like okay. that's a magic thing. Yeah. That's or illusion. That's is that an illusion thing? Move. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my movements are so imperceptible. <laughs> <laughs> I love Drax. He's my friend. Yeah, if you oh, avoid moving Drax. creatures that attempt to detect, you take a minus 10 penalty to their wisdom checks. Okay, so, so at what point do I summon the demons? That's all I need to know. I'm ready. I feel like if things started to hit... What if we, like, kind of spread out, like... Because, wait, what's the, the longest we can go for a message or whatever? 120 feet. We just are, like, every 120 feet. <laughs> you can pass it a lot. But I can't do message. Message I'm, wouldn't work inside there, right? Fuck. Oh, the spell. There's, there's a... You have to briefly go through a no magic zone. So it would make sense. Like, oh, is it small? Is it small, like... Uh, like a TSA kind of thing, or is they, it like, they gotta like is it like a Wakanda dome? Do we? <laughs> <laughs> the two. <laughs> I feel like this episode is us just tormenting Michael. <laughs> just we really can just feel it. the energy better. So I feel like we're we were going into a big, essentially a big room that the magic doesn't mm. like, like a decontamination. You have to, like, cut through part of this big room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, that's not so bad. Um, the bank, I'm just, the security is so good. I wonder if they've thought of this. <laughs> Frank, do you know of any instance where this might have happened in the past? I mean, no invisible person has ever managed to get through 
before, but no one's ever, ever, it's impregnable. Well, Frank, that's good that we're the ones to do it this time. Be first, we'll be famous for doing it. Oh, wow. Toby, you're, I feel like you're not usually such a risk taker, but. Well, that's true. The, the fact that you want to do it, and now I feel like we can do it. No, no, right? No. Yeah. False confidence. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I don't see any other option. That's true. We knew there's going to be some sort of guards or what have you, so... If you didn't do the things to challenge yourself, would you ever grow as a person? That is so true. That's so true. we got to become flowers from seeds. So true. <laughs> it is our season to bloom and prosper, friends. That's right. <laughs> well, let's go steal a pyramid from the bank. <laughs> let's go. We're just, we're just let's roll in it. Let's roll. <laughs> okay. We'll have Lonnie be invisible, scout ahead. Yeah. Within right. 100, and, within 90 feet. Okay. We'll try to stealth once we get to the, yeah. the zone that appears to be um, uh, like the anti-magic field. Uh-huh. And, then once, and then, you know, surely it can't be that bad, right? Right? Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Michael smiling. <laughs> Look at him. He's smart. He's literally cut his hands <laughs> together like he's, he's g- getting a car up in here. Michael, do you think that's what we should do? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Uh... I believe him, so we give it. <laughs> no. All right. I believe him. I regret him. everything we said. Let's go. Let's look at roll. All right. Let me we just... still look like robots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we, we approach. And we keep saying, I'm a robot. We keep oh, saying, I'm a robot. robot. <laughs> yeah, like, I wish I had ham. I love right. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she is off. Okay. <laughs> Are we in the cart now? <laughs> <laughs> so step one, Lonnie is going invisible. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> she is entering into the um, the zone where magic does not work. Yes. And just for the record, um, we've used it as the condition before, not the magical effect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Michael! You just read the ass saying, with those two syllables. Because <laughs> I think Frank was saying like, oh. The bank probably knows that monks exist. Who's to say? Who's to say, though? You know, oftentimes, Michael, you might want to write this down, that villains will leave a, 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 a weak point mm-hmm. in their plan due to hubris. Monks are the weak point. Or it's a trap. Tra- or it's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Monks no. and rangers, because they don't believe in financial aid. Yeah, we don't believe in burying well. money in the ground. <laughs> I'm so worried right now. Why is silence so much more terrifying? It's worse. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, if parents, like if your parents like are quiet, that's way more scary yeah. than when you're a kid. Like, oh man, I'm getting so much trouble. Like, right are now. you mad or are you disappointed? I'm neither. I'm very happy. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, <laughs> excited. I hate this. <laughs> Fine. If, if we have to fight, we have to fight. Not a big deal. <sighs> fight. Let's go. All right. What? All right. Um, Let us have it. <laughs> so, uh, Lonnie, you enter into the room, <laughs> and um, you see uh, a pair of these robot guards standing on either side of a, a big closed door. Oh. And there's sort of a dome-shaped thing above the door, like a dome, half circle thing. Is it reflective, like there's a camera behind it? Or is it I mean, kind of see through like a light? Nika would probably think there's a camera behind it, but oh, Lonnie definitely. would think it's maybe a decoration or something. Mm. So you're saying that <laughs> Lonnie doesn't know what a camera is. Wow, what's your show? That's true. Okay, wow. yeah. uh, okay, I know. I think then if it just looks like a decoration, I don't know that Lonnie would like care about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that she would just like, So there's a closed door with two guards on either side of it. I run through it. I'm gonna try to run through it. I'm invisible, if nothing else. Okay, so you're trying to just run straight on through it? Yeah. Oh my god, she's gonna get bonked. <laughs> okay. It doesn't make me visible, it's so Um <laughs> there, there's so so you're uh what is it? What is the magic item that makes you go through walls? It's the boots you gave me. Right. The galosh right. part of the boots. Right. You did so, the double You did this. <laughs> right. So um so those don't work because it's an anti magic. Oh, field. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you bounce very hard <laughs> the door. It's like your bonk of the day. <laughs> and um it takes one damage. The um the uh the half globe thing sort of lights up, and um, the robot's eyes sort of light up, and they have true sight at this point, um, so they can see you. Can I run away? 
Yeah. I don't, I don't think they can <laughs> Or did they just look at me? Oh, no, they're, we were rolling initiative. Um, you're, you're like like a cat, like when it runs into like a wall, <laughs> and it just acts fine, like nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, you roll too? rolling initiative? Yeah, why don't you all roll initiative? Unless you think you oh, this you're going to smell loud. Or you're going to smell loud. Well, you heard a loud body went through the, the door. <laughs> and then you heard a loud boom. <laughs> she. Oh. It was not a positive sound. Oh, I, 22. Oh, boy. I got an 11. I uh, got a 13. Can we talk about this? I got a 6. No! Oh my god, we're going to die. <laughs> But I've been readying le- some lesser demons the whole time. The whole time. You were yeah. playing for a delay. No. Dangerous. So we can use magic here, right? It's I'm just that it, cast it, it and like alert people. Not in this room. So Wait, can, can we use stand, magic? Can we yeah. stand on the side yeah. and cast magic into it? I, I think you probably could. Okay. I'm out of this room more than anything in my life. <laughs> I hate the corporate world. It's terrifying. It <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> And Toby and Scudder just both peeking in the door, just like slinging spells. Yeah. Like, ah! you know, I think that we're all like literally in the door because we're only shooting arrows. Yeah. But once it goes into the room, doesn't it become non magical? So he you said like it shoot. Was fine Be cool. Well, he said we could stay in I mean, if I shoot a fireball, it's still. It's like, oh, it's not magic anymore. The magic is summoning the fireball. So then by right. that point, the fire is. It's fire. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. go with that. What was Scud's roll? Six. Is it good? Ooh. No, it's bad. Is it good, father? <laughs> father, please. One. What is Lonnie's roll? Eleven. That's not great for Lonnie. It's not. Uh, oh. Rowan? Thirteen. <laughs> she Listen. said she wanted to run away before initiative, so... And Toby. Twenty-two. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Somebody. Toby, give us... Use your initiative to give us initiative. Okay, I'm gonna sack one of my initiatives. Okay. Um, Toby, you are up. You peer through the door. You see two of these robots about to... Actually, you know what? Can I have Lonnie just roll, uh, let's see, a deck save to not have it fallen on her face after slamming into the door full speed? <laughs> yeah. Roll for, uh, to save against Bonkhead. I just want to see Ooh. if you're prone or not. No. Yeah, you're not. I'm going to assume, no. Uh, 27. Yeah, you're cool. Can I do... You are within five feet of all. Okay. All right, so I know that this room is piss. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to raise my hand and I'm going to shoot a fireball in the room centered on where I can hit both the robots. Okay, so the, if the perfect center of where you can hit both robots is Lonnie. Yes, all right, then I'll, I'll shoot. And I also want to aim it a little high. I want to try to maybe hit that um, friggin' because did that change color at all? It lit up. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll add that into the the zone. So uh, everyone has to make a Dex nineteen saving throw. Oh shit! I love to. Not you two. Oh okay. Just Lonnie the robots. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay because she, uh, for folks along at home, <laughs> she rolled a one. I rolled a one, but because I'm using empty body, I do have resistance to all damage mm-hmm. other than force. So nice, that's great for you. <laughs> yeah, they both fail. Okay, the robots. I'm just looking up a die roller because I cast at fifth level and it's too many dice. Ten d sixes. All right. No, that's actually not very good. Uh, 35 total as I hurl the fireball centered on Lonnie and uh, it explodes in a huge, I'm telling you, massive fire conflagration. Like, just like things catch on fire. And stuff. Yeah, it's the spreads, fire spreads around corners. <laughs> it ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. All right, so there's like papers and stuff. Yes. Bags of money all burned yes. up. What paper money we have? Mm-hmm. Drunk mm-hmm. 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 So the uh, and then I'll hide back behind the corner. Yeah, <laughs> just be, three little heads peeking out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now, Lonnie. Where are you guys in the doorway? Where exactly are you? So you're all clumped in the doorway. So I, you can I imagine spells. Rowan is on one side because she needs a little more space to do archery and then Scud and Toby are stacked on little, two little hits. <laughs> That's what I would guess, but please tell me if I'm wrong. Sure, that works. <laughs> so it's like... Like if you're so looking at a doorway. doorway mm-hmm. 
And then in the square right behind the doorway is Toby, Lonnie, Scud. Rowan? Toby, Rowan, Sorry. Like, if I'm looking at the door... Rowan's Number in one in, is who? Rowan. And then Toby's going to shoot over the top of her. Toby just shot over the top of her. Like between her legs. Yeah. Between her legs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it was Toby directly behind? Rowan. No, I'd like move to the left. Like, I would not be in the... I would peek in, shoot the fireball from between her legs, roll around, very and not be... Not be there. Probably move, like, eight feet to the left, you know? And hunker down. Did you singe <laughs> my pants <laughs> with the Who's fireball? So it kind of like it starts small but gets yeah, bigger yeah, yeah, as it leaves yeah, my fingy. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. So I'm I'm probably like eight feet to the left of the door. Okay. Hunkering um, down. So um, the first of the robots uh, gets into a charging position. No. <laughs> and and does a flesh crushing stride. And so Lonnie, oh. you're gonna get a free punch at this dude. <clears throat> I would like to take it. Because um, it is leaving oh. your your zone, and it is barreling through uh, Scud and Lonnie. All right, sorry. I, wow, I did it again. What is yeah. happening? Michael. Scud and Rowan. I don't like it. So wait, is it going to, when you say through, is it going to move It's trying to try to. Us or what? It's going to try to knock us over like bowling pins. It is going to go through Rowan and Ouch. stop on top of Scud. No! Uh, which is, uh. it's got special rules. And I've not been hit by any of these robots yet, is what you're telling me. This is the you're, first time. You're um, going to need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Just do it. Oh, I hope I can. Will you 20? I'm gonna. 30. Yeah, 30, so that's going to hit. Can I... Would I be able to try and instead of do damage, maybe disrupt his? I think you can just make it an attack. Okay. Right? Isn't that just a, a opportunity attack? You just make a melee basic thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Can I? Can I wonder I, if you can use key though to like do stuff. I don't know how that works. Uh, Pretty sure you can just do an opportunity. I think you can yeah. just do a melee basic. Right, but since she's a monk, is she able to use her key to add flurry of blows or the stun move? Um, you do like a bonus action right? Oh, fair. So use your reaction to punch, bonus action to stun, if that's possible. That would be so great, and Mike would be so mad. If you have powers that, like, when you hit, you can do a thing, <laughs> I mm-hmm. think that you would still be able to do that. Sure. Right? Okay. Yeah, so you can punch the robot, use a key to stunning strike, and save our friends from getting trampled. I do that. How much damage do you do? <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, but he's stunned. He's not. Um, uh. You didn't stun him. You did him, though. That's good. Uh, he, he, Fuck. He, he blasts through, and Rowan and Scud both have to make a dexterity save. I pass. got 27. Okay, that's good. I did a flip. You can use both. You did a flip. No, <laughs> I got a seven. Hold on. Hold on. I got a seven. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're pushed five feet into okay. the nearest space. Okay. Um, Good. I like it here. You uh, take 28 bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's funny. Good. Um, I don't mean to that. Good. Is your blood purple? Have we talked about this? Sure. You, okay. are, <laughs> you are not prone. No. I love it. I love being prone. Um, and, um, and he just sits on you, basically. Ah. Oh, wait. And uh, Lucky? I, I choose my inspiration to roll that again. That that's not. We all agree that's not how it's right. And uh, you're restrained uh, while he's on top of you. Shit. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Is it? There's gonna sit on this. No big deal. <laughs> what do we sit on? Okay. So I nothing. So I don't get injured at all. It yeah, just you just move me. a little bit, and okay. it's your turn now. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta get this robot there's off. Ro- there's a robot within. Touching distance of you. Oh, that's bad. Is that the one that's on Scud right yeah, now? Okay, Scott that makes sense. Scud. Can we um, get our way all the way through mm. yet? Are we still? No, we haven't got in the room at all. No, I mean, we have we done a round yet? Nope. No. Uh, can I want to move farther back so I can shoot my arrow? I think you would have to disengage, right? So I can only do melee stuff. Okay. Well, you just take the hit. <laughs> what? You can just take a punch. You can just take the punch. Can you like literally punch it? Through it? Like, what do you mean take the punch? If you attack with while you're in range with your bow uh-huh. of him, he's gonna hit you. 
now. Or you right? Can, or it's like an advantage. Uh, you have disadvantage yeah. if you try to shoot him, and, but if you want to take a step back, right. he, he gets to try to punch you. That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. I will do that. Yes. Okay. Let him a punch upon my body. It's fine. Uh, it is a 24 against your AC. Ooh, Boy. Yikes. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, that'll do it. Um, it actually, a, um, Oof. a sort of electrified flail pops out of his what? arm ah. and it hits you and it's very clear that it actually has a range of about 15 feet. So Fuck. you have what to the? move. You got to move back pretty far. Okay. Um, but you take, uh, 18 bludgeoning damage and 22 lightning damage. Oh, that's, but we're robots. 30 total? Why are they fighting robots? Uh, they have true sight. <laughs> I'm a robot. Um, and Toby, I need you and Scud to make dexterity saving throws. No, why? Why do I have to make one? I'm again? eight I'm feet away. Restrained. Um, because lightning arcs off of this thing and zaps you guys. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> uh, I got a five. I got an eight. All right, you both take twenty-two damage. Yes! I mean, I have my doubts about how I could do anything dexterous when I'm <laughs> restrained or they have Oh yeah, you have disadvantage me. for sure. Um, Oh, you want to see if I do worse? No. Okay, you're good. <laughs> These things are strong. Is it my turn now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Oh fuck. What? Nothing. Shut up. Um, can I? So I have a thing where I shoot my arrow and like where the arrow hits vines and shit, like entrap the thing. Mm-hmm. The robot is on top of Scud right yeah, now. Yeah, they're in the same space. They're right in the now. same space. What if my arrow? I hit him so hard with my arrow, he falls over. <laughs> You're telling me that's not... Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. You could definitely try. Um, I, I feel like, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> it does not sound like it's going to go in my favor. So, what if I just... You know what? It's, it's oath bow, sure. Because um, oath bow is... If I kill this person, then it breaks and I can do another oath on somebody else. Uh, yeah, alright, it's Oath Bow time, let's do it. It's Oath Bow time! Baby! This is fun, I'm glad we're doing this together in person. Shut up. 20, uh, 18! 18! Don't kill us, Michael. 18 to hit. Mm Mm-hmm. That hits. (gasps) Okay. Uh, and actually, I do it twice, so... Again, that's 22. Also hit. Nice, okay. Sure, I'm not doing all my... Stuff correctly, I'm gonna keep it basic for this one, guys at home. So, 20, 20 points damage. That's a lot. Yeah. I, I owe going right in his robo neck. Now, you also get like another D8 for, for yes. your. Yes, my bow. And I think another, and you have Colossal Slayer because you have extra, because he's hurt already, so you get an extra D8 for that. You're right, you're right. Okay, I'll, yeah, I do an extra D8. Um, so that's add another six onto that damage. So that's 26, I think, is what I said. Sweet. Cool. Uh, but I think that's it for me. Nice. So that was a d6 was the extra damage for, yeah, for the, the Paylor thing? No, well, shit. No, that was the Colossus Slayer thing. So um, another, throw another d8 on there. Yeah. Another six! Hell yeah. Uh, Lonnie. Uh, okay, I would like to run out of the room. The one that we'll is... We'll take an opportunity attack. <laughs> Silence. That's fine. <laughs> uh, 23. Is he making a, a melee attack? A melee. A melee. <laughs> My lord. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, I guess he gets a chance to touch. Hmm? That hits. That hits. Yes. Okay, so the electricity doesn't go everywhere, which is great for you. Um, so you only take 18 bludgeon damage. That's not so bad. Um, so I run out, and I would like to run up to the one that is next to Scud. On top of it. Yeah, and um, instead... Give him kisses. Give him a little <laughs> robo kisses. Robot so... kisses. Smooch, 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 <laughs> smooch, smooch. Uh, so is still invisible? No. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. Technically, yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, yes. Okay. So then they they don't say anything, but Lonnie runs and then she like jumps and with the momentum she has gained from running, she uses the power to feet kick. Yeah. Basically, um, right in the back. Yeah. Right <laughs> in the back of that, she, she kicks just like 
Poor old Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> got kicked. Um, the robot right off of Scud. I would like to do this. And then if that doesn't work, because I, I will do flurry of blows, mm-hmm. um, I will hit, hit, kick him two times. Hit, kick. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay. 27. Mm, 17? No. This is. 24. Yes. Does the payload, the, the extra blessing, um, does that happen with each attack or per? Um, it each attack. I like that payload. gave that to us. Yeah, you guys helped him. He's a god. He likes it. Oh, shit. Robot takes 45 damage. Oh. Woo! Um, you can you also make a DC 18 strength turn? Oh my gosh. 18? I guess I don't normally say those out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you should start, though. It's a nice change of pace. Hmm? You should start. Just what? Just out loud. Yeah. Yeah, oh, just, that's, you that's know. It's scary. And they were. That's good for the listeners. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'm scared. 16 plus 6. 22. <gasps> you knock the, uh, this robot right off of Scud. Yes! I feel great. Oh, okay. kisses. That's it. Nice. That's nice yorb. Um... The um, the other robot uh, holds up his arm and no the whip and it appears <laughs> to transform punch. into a, there's a big barrel of like a cannony thing oh, oh no and, then, and its eyes flash red and you hear a click noise Uh-oh. and Uh-oh. it looks at it and it goes fuck and, <laughs> and then it um fuck fuck it fuck. Uh, <laughs> it runs into basically it moves right up into melee with the rest of you outside, Damn. outside of the room. And we'll go to Scud. Well, Scud, I, what, I gotta move my, use my movement to stand up, right? Half your movement. Half my movement. I use half my movement to stand up. I am gonna use a bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon at 5th level. It's gonna make... Um, on the one that was just on me, it's gonna, it's gonna summon uh, next to him, and it's gonna make a melee attack. Oh, me. <laughs> uh, how's a how's a thirty grab you, my dude? Whoa! That grabs me right in the <laughs> jellies. Yeah, <laughs> you got jelly. Uh, there, let's do one of these. Run the meatballs. Damn yeah, meatballs! That's a that's a ten. Well, it's a two, so twelve damage. It wants some. That was just a, that was just a bonus action. Wow, that's awesome! Oh my god, that's so much. Else going on? You see my life right now. Uh, how the how the fire do? You hit him with a bunch of fire. Damn right. Yeah, I guess Michael didn't specifically say that it. Uh, it hurt them. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 We'll do a fire bolt. Um, Lightning bolt. Yeah. So I'm not like right next to anybody, right? You are surround. You are like in a, cl- a pile. <laughs> the opposite. Like, literally, everyone is in like 15 feet of each other right now. All, sure, all I'm, in the I'm door. You're Jesus. all like on the. Yeah, they're like both right next to you. Cool. <laughs> like one was just on top of you, and then Lonnie punched it off. Okay, well, I'm still gonna fire, firebolt them. Um, 24? That hits. Let's do it right. Let's look it up. Do good. Is it 10? Is it 10? Uh, one's broke. What's the zero after it? It's 10. It's a zero after it. One zero. No. No. Because it's no. a percentage one. Bachman. That's a one. That's that a one. Wait, what? Zero, zero I've never ten. used a Why the fuck would zero, zero be ten? It's, it, is, it is dumb, but... <laughs> that is fucking dumb that, like, something that literally <laughs> says ten... No. If it's, it's a percentage, so no. you can only go up to ten percent? No. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. No. Because it's a second digit. Oh, wait, you no, know, I see what it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great you that I... You were so mad. <laughs> Not mad. Stern? He was a, disappointed in the dice. It's not enough. What is that? Okay, nine. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever done it like that. I've always used those as ones. Don't mm. worry. <laughs> Don't go back and look at all Don't. the rules in our previous... Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Oh, man. So how much damage do you do? Fifteen. <laughs> He's so like, mad. Why are you going to do it? <laughs> Because I want to know what it looks like when you kill this robot. Oh, it's good again! I'm happy again! <laughs> no, it's just punching my butt! Because <laughs> I'm happy! Uh, yeah, it, um... 
So, okay, so this is all, it's all one fluid thing. So I summon the, summon the sword, and the sword is behind him, and I hit him with the fireball, and I know that can't technically push, but Michael's for flavor. So I, he hits hit with the fireball, and he goes, whoa, but the sword's there behind oh, him. Oh, man. And it pushes him back. And 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 the, the fire the fireball hits him pushes him into this, he's now impaled on the sword but the sword is heated up oh no. from Whoa. the fireball ah. it's flaming red now and it just slowly force of gravity just like cuts yeah. him down yeah. the middle now we have two bots that's two brutal yeah, that's, that's brutal yeah. this is why you don't let your kids play Mortal Kombat <laughs> <laughs> don't start getting too many ideas about slicing people in half <laughs> Toby what you're up so we got one got one left. And he's in the room now too, right? He's in, he's, he's in the pile? He's in the pile. Um, he's essentially in the doorway. He's in the doorway. Well, let's not make it... Fuck, he has 50, what, 15 foot reach. Mm-hmm. How high is the ceiling? Is a, these are probably pretty high ceilings. Like warehouses? Yeah, because it's, like it's like a big bank entrance area. It's all 30 majestic feet? and sure. 30 feet? Yeah. Can I do an arcana check to remember how heavy... A big boy like this might weigh. <laughs> Does big boy le- weigh less than boop, 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 500 pounds? Yes. Do I know that without rolling? You can tell. Okay. Less than 500. Yeah. I cast Levitate. Okay. On big boy. Okay. Con 19 save to for um, this, my new robot friend to... You got, um, you got uh, 11. Perfect. I move him. Mm-hmm. For them, mm-hmm. twenty feet in the air. Okay. And now they're like, "Whoa, mm-hmm. whoa! I'm twenty feet in the air." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Current altitude reading <laughs> twenty feet. Yeah, and that's what I do. Oh no! Oh, and no. I'm gonna move oh, no. eight more feet back. I, I I don't know why I'm moving eight it's feet. It's gotta be five or ten. No, we don't have a grid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a grid. Is it eight? I move eight. Um, okay. So yeah, he's he up in air. I guess technically, if any of you are over five feet tall, you can get hit in the head. So hunker down. I am. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are over five feet tall. Finally, Toby says, thinking <laughs> that nothing could happen. Rowan. Okay. How many ways? There's one floating, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. So I am gonna. I'm just gonna do my oath vote again. And I did not actually swear oath against this. I realized last time I didn't do the make it much more. Just fine. Um, so I am gonna use my. Well, well, let's see if I hit first before I get too excited about this <laughs> damage. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I get myself. I like sometimes when you get so excited, you forget to roll an attack. And it's like, like, what are you doing? Fire. Like, I did 32 damage. Did you roll? Like, <gasps> no. That was, that was good. I rolled the natural 20. Whoa! Whoa. Let, we call that a crit You're here. lying. You're lying. Oh, oh no, you're oh, lying. You can cast oh, yeah. see. We can. You can see. We can also, like, hold hands or whatever. Yeah. It's <laughs> just like, so, you can, like, hold hands or whatever. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> like, Michael and I can hold hands. You can just hold oh, hands. Yeah. It'd be... <laughs> okay. Oh, they're doing oh. it. Can you feel that power? Oh. Can you feel right the power? It's right by the microphone. I don't think you can tell, though. Oh. Um, okay, so that was good. And it, well, now I'm going to roll again because I... That was less good. Um, that is a 21. That still hits. Nice. Okay. So time to roll a whole bunch of D8s right now. Because I think I basically get to add two, di- two D8s. Mm-hmm. 26. I feel like there's more. <laughs> what am I forgetting? So you have... I have my 1D8 from Paylor. 1D8 from Paylor. 1D8 from... What's her nuts? Melora. Hers is like... Oh, and then I get one for the Colossus Slayer, too. One for Colossus Slayer. And you double your... I think just weapon, right? You don't double those? I forget. We, we, you we, double your base damage. So, ba- yeah. so you get an extra D. So I get one more D8. Yeah, that's so funny. 28. <laughs> so 28 total damage? Yes. Nice. Is that your... Yeah, that's me. Lonnie. There's a floating robot up your up above your head. He yeah. has a 17... Seven misses, unfortunately. That's fair. Uh, 24. Hit. Right. Did you know that I can cast Levitate at will? What? What? <laughs> 13. What? What? Uh, that one will not hit. Okay, so I hit twice. 27 damage. A lot of damage. Doesn't like it. What does it look like when it... Oh. No. 
So you, so describe what you do though. Um, so she spring forwards between, so she like, she's laying on her, I, I'm just gonna say she's like laying on her back because mm-hmm. she just kicked mm-hmm. and she landed. Mm-hmm. So she, um, like use it where she like, uh, pushes back, mm-hmm. uses her hands to spring her legs forward, double kicks yes. him. Yes. Double nice. kicks. And then, um. So you're saying you push yourself off the ground 20 feet in the air? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You're so good. Yeah. Um, straight into a kick, and then let's say backflip into standing up. Just a, twice, a simple backflip. Yeah. Yeah, a simple twenty-foot vertical from your back, from your hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Anyone yeah. can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyone. Um, it uh, takes its cannon arm and points it down at you all from up above. No. And um, you hear this deafening. Bluey! <laughs> Bluey! <laughs> and you all have to make a dex tour. I did it again. You just, just 20, keep telling us saving throw. your secrets. Do I? All of you. How big a, a, a hole is it? Uh, was that? 30 feet. <laughs> I failed it. Ah, I rolled in that one again. I, I got 26. I got a 19, friend. Okay. It, you have to get a 20. I didn't do that. I got a 26. Damn. I do a barrel roll out of the way. <laughs> Just <laughs> Is it working? Um, you all, so you all failed? What? How did I fail? Six? Every one of you failed? 20, we're only going 26. Okay, you only take half damage. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I'm going to die. Christ. Uh, so you all take 27 bludgeoning damage. Blah. Okay. And, oh, that's fine. And 13 thunder damage. No, what? That's so many, it's that's 40. 40. Toby's down. Oh, no, Toby. <laughs> Oh no! I should have moved more than eight feet, Michael. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> and now he's slowly I floating did. back down because I lose my concentration. So Toby just gets oh, no. <laughs> and he gets like okay. smashes into like a box or something. <laughs> he's inside the box, oh, and there's Toby. blood coming out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Oh, shoot! Feather! I cast feather fall as a reaction. What does that do? Uh, choose up to five falling creatures within range. A falling creatures rate of descent increases. Like Falling is yeah. the robot. I know. I want to slow it. I don't want him to get to the ground. So uh, move around. Okay. <laughs> that cost me anything. Do it. Sure, do it. Sure, yeah. fuck it. It's yeah. already falling slowly, so now even slower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The robot is inconvenienced by this. It does have a ranged thunder cannon, mm. which he just shot you with. Yeah, but um, if that was the most pop- powerful thing, who's going to do it? He's no got to recharge it. He's, he's always going to recharge. He's got to recharge it. Yeah, he's got to recharge it. He's got to recharge it, Michael. It says so. Look at yeah. paragraph it, 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 B, it, it, subsection C. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he's he's feather falling, Michael. Okay, you did it. <laughs> Damn it. I like to do something fun for once. <laughs> Make this robot Great feather job. fall. Scott, it's your turn. All right. How are you doing, Scud? How's your hit points looking, bud? How high off the ground is he? He's 30 feet off the ground? I think he's 20. 20, and he's slowly oh, okay. moving, so it, but even slower. So let's say 19. 19 feet. We can all agree that's the, that's the correct math. Yeah. 19 yeah. feet off the ground. Not exactly how Featherfall works after reading it, but don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. It slows him to 60 feet per round. He was going to hit oh, the wow. round no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. But, but it was cool. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Is it spirit- so because spiritual weapon's floating, it can move up in the air. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is so that a concentration thing? It's not. It's one minute, and it's just a bonus action to make it keep doing okay. this thing. So it's going to fly up there, and Scud suddenly realizes, Akio, what the fuck have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> uh, and it's going to... But the spiritual weapon is going to roll to hit him again. Natural 20! Woohoo! Nice! Yeah. Wow. Another crit. And that... <laughs> Fuck, we sounded so happy. And that, how's that work again? <laughs> oh, another crit. <laughs> well, you, what, double, what the you double the damage. Double the damage. Double the damage. So I double You're fine. 48. 48 damage is a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that a two? Oh, that is a two. Okay. Ooh. It's 10, 17, 21. You get Jack Pry. Uh, 21, 23 total. Okay. And then. Oh, I was waiting for you to say what's a little bit of a Then, uh, then Scud, confident, absolutely confident, <laughs> that he's gonna be able to end this this round. This round, he's gonna be like. <laughs> 
<laughs> he starts doing his like doing his like Sentai like anime pose. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. He's like, this is the end. He's gonna spin <laughs> around and he's gonna fire another. Oh, what's okay? Let me see. What's the most damage? Uh, this is anticlimactic. Uh, he's like, this is the end. He takes out a spell book and like, hmm, like which one? Which one? Orb though. Ooh. Ooh. Chromatic orb. I'm gonna do. Should I, should I do lightning damage or is that a bad idea? Oh, Did that, I feel like that. He said lightning cannon. <laughs> I said yeah. thunder cannon. Whatever. Thunder They're cannon. Different. Well, I just feel like you know robots. There's two schools of thought. Yeah. Like there's oh, like gonna, an Iron Man getting hit him by Thor. Yeah. No. Gonna yeah. Get, he's gonna get energy. He's gonna, yeah. He thinks that's good. He thinks that's good. Okay. Acid damage though. That's, that's gotta be good. Against he's a gonna robot. hate that. That's yeah. Good. Yes. Robots can't Actually, acid. he's power of acid. No, so yum, same, yum, brother. Yum, yum, and now I can it. get up and give a high five, you know? So good. <laughs> yeah. Good one. Good one. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this, this is, is the gonna... end. And he's going to throw a... He's going to throw a... <laughs> orb <whip> <laughs> at... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that even... Do I even have to... Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, okay, so it's 13. Oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Do you know what? What, ah! what happened? <laughs> I rolled a one. After all that, <laughs> you stupid fool. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Why would you do that? Oh, that what was... could go wrong? <laughs> well, what, well, one plus 13. Bam, baby. <laughs> Mike was laughing. Michael, why are you laughing? Michael, why are you laughing? Michael, why are you Googling? No, uh, I can see your screen. Stop. Is it time for the demons? He's like Googling prices for a <laughs> fail <laughs> horn. We'll find out what happens next week. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Michael, don't! This Michael doesn't even hit. He said he's... <laughs> he said he fires... <laughs> Scott fires the orb, does absolutely nothing. He goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, Toby, make a death saving throw. No! I was like, I thought he was gonna say Dex again. I'm like, Daddy, no. <laughs> Ten. That's good, right? I think so. It is. Yeah, I can never remember. Rowan, you're up. Oh, oh yeah, it's, they hinted at new death mm-hmm. rules for the Avernus thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Ernest, Ernest, more like Ernest. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So I've distracted him by mm-hmm. failing so epically in front of him that yeah, so surely. So we were deciding that lightning. I shouldn't shoot him with lightning. I well, it either can be really good, or really bad. We don't know. Or, or nothing else. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna do pale thorns. I think. Yeah. He's probably like 17 feet. It like. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I'm casting it at third level, so I get to do an extra 3d10 of damage. Um, it is piercing damage. Okay. Mm, that was a 15. I'm rolling my arrow attacks. You're shooting, you're shooting arrow bows. Okay. Yeah, because then the thorns explode from okay, cool, cool. the arrow. So the first attack, I got, I did 15. That's too bad. Yeah, and the second one, I did 24. That hits. Okay. So, now, okay, so they have to make a deck saving throw and I'm doing 3d10 damage. 2d8. Mm-hmm. Their deck saving throw the 21. Oh my god, I rolled so bad. What the fuck? <laughs> I rolled, <laughs> I got four points there. That's cool, out of 3d10, four points. That's good. Um, wow. Love that shit. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, how's that even possible? <laughs> uh, okay, and then two d eight. Um, so that's nineteen piercing damage. It's immune piercing. No, are you shitting me? Yeah. Michael, you freaking. Yeah, you are shitting, shitting me. Yeah, I'm shitting you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? What does it look cool. like when cool. you kill it? Yay! Okay, so my arrow, I knock the arrow, and it's like up in the air, and. Thorns explode from them as they're going. One arrow kind of veers off the path because I miss, <laughs> but the other one keeps going, and all the thorns are just like swarming around it. And then it gets the robot, but the robot not shakes it, shakes, shakes. Yeah, and then it falls to the ground dead. Nice. All 
All right, you did it. You Yay! Yay! Third, that's that's right. right. We're high-fiving we a person. We're high-fiving a person. Yes, come more yes, robots. Yes. I'm so <laughs> proud of all of you. Yes. 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 Seven more robots running. No, 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 Michael. I can't. Um, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> we'll find out how many more robots run in next time on the next episode of Greetings Adventurers. The Adventurers. I'm dead. <laughs> we are gonna have to figure out how to deal with that situation. I'm dead. You pour, You're not dead, dead. You pour some mashed potatoes in my little mouth. He needs mm. it. Um. Does anyone want to read reviews? We're all here in the room, you know. I mean, I can just pass you the laptop. All right. So Higdowl Zero says, one of the best. I started this podcast at episode one a while ago. And when I finally caught up, I was sad that I had to wait a week for new episodes. Uh, thanks, Higdowl Zero. Um, why are all the names taken, too? Wow. Mm. The second one. <laughs> that was a great show. Can't believe I actually caught up. Great show. I would write something funny and personal here for them to read, but they have so many reviews to read. No way they'll get to mine. Joke's on you. Why are yeah, all owned. the names taken, too? <laughs> From ne- the Netherlands. Um, Joe 40... Oh, no. Sorry. Average Joe 48 says, best podcast review podcast out there. The stuff in the beginning is all right. The last four minutes of each episode are pure <laughs> gold. Yeah, it's the only good part. We all agree. <laughs> Just kidding. This show is great. It's very nice that I get to work by myself, so I don't freak people out when I burst out laughing. I don't know the number of times I've bashed my thumb with a hammer or almost cut off a hand or finger with a saw while Mike Bogan makes me burst into laughter at very precarious times. Keep up the good work. Please, please keep your hands safe. I'm worried about you. Um, Half Orcs Make the Best Mimes says, great D&D 5e actual play podcast. Long-time listener, first-time reviewer. I found this podcast in 2015 with episode 191 <laughs> when Harper explodes into goo inside Jet Razor, who had turned into a wardrobe. Mm-hmm. I got halfway through the episode when I realized I really need to start from the first episode. I finally caught up, and I have to say this is the best 310 plus hours hours I've spent commuting to and from work and on flights. Thank you so much, Half Orcs. Make the best mimes. Oh, this is a long one. Um, <laughs> Jared, you don't read. I'm not gonna read it all. I've been editing them. Mm. Uh, Jared the Lube Boy says... <laughs> Alright, read all of it. Critical, yep. <laughs> critical Dragon Boners. Hey guys, Drugs and Dragons is hands down the best podcast ever created, and I would know because I've listened to two whole podcasts in my life. After attempting to start a campaign with my friends a few months ago, I became frustrated with their slackness and started this ep- this podcast from episode one. I'm now on episode 69. Nice. Uh, that's actually in the review. He said that. And have no plans of stopping until I finally catch up. Thank you so much, Jared the Lube Boy. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we're uh, at Geeklink or at d d Podcast. I'm at Thrift Deep Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Starbuck Greetings Adventurers? Well, make sure to head over to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished covering your robot friend with Han, head on over to Apple Podcasts or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dndpodcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content that you won't be able to find anywhere else. If you've been wanting to meet your favorite podcasters and other fantastic geeklies, don't miss out on GeeklyCon 2019 in Columbus, Ohio. Dates are July 18th through the 21st, and tickets are on sale now at geeklycon.com. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep it dicey.